Hey guys, this is Cambridge English teacher Rory from studentlanguages.com. Um, I'm just in Mijas still. We went out for dinner in a town nearby here called Fuengirola. Fuengirola. I don't know if there's any Spanish people out there. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Feel free to send me a video. Tell me how you spell it correctly. But yeah, it was good. So we did that last night. Um, and now I'm just lying in the sunshine. Some nice views around me, looking out over Spain. But the reason I'm making this video is to tell you about three uncountable nouns. And these are the three nouns which people confuse often. They're all uncountable. The first one uh, is furniture. So the word furniture applies to chairs, tables, things like this. So if we have a look around here, there's a few deck chairs over there on the other side of the pool. Some other chairs, uh, some lounger beds. These all apply, they're all, they're all types of furniture. But furniture is an uncountable noun. So you cannot say, for example, over there, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six deck chairs. But we cannot say six furnitures. Say six furnitures because furniture is uncountable. Now, you can make uncountable nouns countable by adding another piece of information. For example, we could say six pieces of furniture. And if you add in a word like pieces or bits or bars, there are lots of these types of words which can make uncountable nouns countable. Uncountable nouns in themselves, you cannot put an S on the end of most of them, like furniture. You cannot say six furnitures. You can say six deck chairs or six pieces of furniture. So that's the first uncountable noun I wanted to tell you about. The second one is accommodation. Accommodation, which is spelt with two C's and two M's, which a lot of people confuse, means where someone lives, their house or their apartment. Etc. And accommodation is uncountable. So if there are, for example, 10 houses, let's have a look over here. So we've got one house here, one house there, one house up there, one house up there, one house up there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You can say six houses, but you cannot say six accommodations because accommodations is, doesn't exist. Accommodation is an uncountable noun. So again, you could, you could use a different word, for example, houses or house, which is countable, and say six houses, but you cannot say six accommodations, just accommodation. The word some you can use with uncountable nouns, so you could say some accommodation to apply to more than one type of accommodation, but you cannot say accommodations with an S. And that is the second uncountable noun. The third uncountable noun I want to tell you about is the word milk. Now, a lot of liquids are what we call uncountable nouns because you can't really count liquid. So milk, water, these types of things. You cannot say milks or waters. Again, you can make these uncountable nouns countable by saying, for example, six bottles of milk. Six bottles of milk. Or you could say litres or another form of measurement. 100 millilitres of water, for example. But you can't say 100 waters and you can't say six milks. And that's the same for a lot of liquids. Liquids tend to be uncountable. Okay, I hope you found this lesson useful. If you want to see more of my lessons, you can click subscribe below this video. And uh, yeah, again, I've been Rory uh, from studentlanguages.com. If you want more advice, more specifically Cambridge English First Certificate, FCE, or Cambridge Advanced English, CAE, exam advice, uh, I'd definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel because I put on loads of free information about those exams on here. And with those exams, you can get yourself an English certificate, get into a better university. Yeah, 
travel around the world more, get better jobs, etc. And I really want to help you guys do that, you English learners out there. But anyway, again, I'm Cambridge English teacher Rory from studentlanguages.com. See you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye.